this is Smile Flips, and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. <coughs> so in this episode, we are starting off World 5, and we're going to try to get 12 stars. We're starting off with um, this level, and then we're going to continue through. This one is on the Sling Stars. The other two are located on the Final Planet. What are you seeing it? With this, what we want to do is simply just want to get the bubble so it gets high enough to be able to collect the green star. There we go. That one was quite easier than I was expecting, so that's good. Now the other two. Which are both located on the tower at the end of the at the end of um second star. There we go, come on. Now once we've done these, then that's it. There we go. Both on the same um, planet, anyway. Go. Into that bubble, then that will take us out to the star. There we go. And then the other star is on the metal bar. And once we've done that, we'll be moving on to slip sand. Why not get the worst of the other galaxies done first? Then once we've done slip sand, then we can go and do uh, the next galaxy. Which will probably be a lot better anyway. Because the other two that I want to do in this one is Shiverburn and um, Boo Moon. And then the episode after, we're going to be doing Fluzzard, Upside Dizzy, or whatever it's called. And also the other one that we've got to do. The other one that we've got to do, the Bowser Jr. thing. Bowser Jr. is the um, is the castle level in this one. Then once we've done Bowser Juniors, then it's then it's another good level after that. 
Go. Here we go. Here we go. Where is the um Okay, I think it's the second one then it wants us to go to <coughs> There we go. There's that one done. On to the next one. And then on the next one, it says sand waterfall, slide on left, slide on right. For slip sand. It's a character I don't particularly enjoy doing, but we're going to have to do it. Uh, why not get it out of the way first? And after that, we'll be doing Shiver Burn and then Boo Moon. Then, once we've done those, then in the next episode it will be Fluzzard, um, Upside Dizzy, and Bowser Jr., and then the first two levels of World 6. Then that means the episode after that is World 6 being finished. Then, after that, World 7 might all be in one episode. And if that's all in one episode, that's good. And then, after that, all we've got then is World... Um, then, after that... Then we've only got um, the Final Galaxy to do, and then once the Final Galaxy is done... Then, what happens is... It's good. We're just going to be as quickly as we can with this. Uh, I see it. Let's just get to that. go just get the flag just in case even though I think it was gonna be first time there we go then the other two are on the slide one's on the left one's on the right then once we've done the slide as well then that'll be it for slip sand which I'm glad because I don't particularly like that level there we go Green Star 1 collected. On to Green Star number 2 and Green Star number 3. Which you get in the exact same way, just in different parts of the level. Come on. The fact we're doing the exact same level three times just to get three different green stars is ridiculous.
Yeah, come on. Come on. There we go. Off we go, off we go. Yeah, come on. There we go. There we go, first one's got. Then the other one is the exact same thing, but on the right. Then once we've done that, then we're on to Shiverburn, which is a decent galaxy. You never know, if we're quick enough, we might even get enough to do um, one more after that as well. So we're running out of batteries, so I've got batteries in case now, and only when the Wii Remote runs out fully, I'm going to swap. The reason being is I don't like wasting um, batteries, especially when the amount of time that this has lasted on low battery <clears throat> it's lasted about three hours on low battery therefore because of the job because of how good the battery life is in some Wii remotes as soon as it says the batteries are running out just ignore it like I get it saying the batteries are empty on here but if the batteries are empty the Wii Remote wouldn't be connected, would it? Think about that. Also, also, to think about it, if you're playing Skylanders Spyro's Adventure with um, the battery operator portal, on the way. So if you're playing the game with the original portal instead of the Giants reissue, which has fully removed all of the, um, which has fully removed the entire battery requirement and instead had it so you have to simply just plug it in oops well by taking out that requirement one Skylanders is a lot more affordable then because like parents and that aren't having to worry about the whole As soon as those star bits arrive, that's when we need to be on the right. The thing is, is as soon as those Skylanders games, the batteries and that, as soon as those batteries start running out, that's as well when you can get like corruptions of the characters. Yep. It's going to be after the romps then. <sighs> yeah, I'll take it as it's going to be after the romps. Just because it's not appearing at the start, so it's probably at the end. Hmm. 
Come on. There we go, got the other one. Now we're on to free, Freeze Flame. I think it's called Flee. Sh no, Shiver Burn. Freeze Flame is um, Baron Burr from first one. Wow, after we've done Shiver Burn, we'll be over one, we'll be over 200 stars in total. We're flying through this. The first one is going to be in the volcano. But in order to get to it without the volcano blocking it, you're going to have to turn it all twice. And that's what we're going to be doing. Here we go. Now we want to go to get the ice flower. No, it's in the volcano in the middle. There we go. First one's collected. Then the next one is on the one with the moving stones. Then you just add the stones to it. Come on. Next one's star 200. That means there's only 41 stars left until we unlock the final galaxy. 41 stars. 41 stars. That means after this episode, 36 stars left. So probably three more episodes after this. Though personally, I want to be able to have more episodes than just that. So, yeah. In fact, I might go for number three just to spice it up a little bit. Because number three requires you not taking any damage after getting the cloud f flower. Because you need to have three clouds to get to it. This is though more challenging than the first game. This is more challenging than the first game in the in the um, series. Okay, so we're going to get the um, second star then.
Give us how the planet then. And then if you do get the uh, maximum amount of um, star bits, Ev every single coconut in the game turns into a melon. There we go. And then the last one has got to be the hardest one in this galaxy to get. And after that, we're doing Boo Moon. And then once we've done that, then that'll be another galaxy complete. There we go. That's how you that's how you go with batteries. Because if you do it like that, it will literally stop you having um, battery issues for your game. And then you reconnect your Wii Remote. And then you've got a fully powered one again. And now we can go and finish this. There we go. Final one. Green Star 3. This is the more challenging one. And the one that's probably going to take the longest out of the three on this one. After we've done that, then we can go to the next galaxy, which is Boo Moon. Once we've done the Boo Moon, then after that, we will... Um, after that, we'll still have a few galaxies left to do. Which include... Um, the other three on this, all of the ones in World 6 and all the special ones, and then after that, we're there. We're to the Grandmaster Galaxy. I think it's called Grandmaster. It's either Grand... Yes, Grandmaster, not Grand Finale. Grand Finale is the first galaxy. The reason I remember that is simply because it's... It's simply because um, Grand Finale is... One of the largest disappointments of a galaxy that's in the Galaxy series. we go. So it's going to take us to the planet we need to be on. Should do. There it is. We need to be very careful now. There we go. 
Oh, you only need one cloud. There's Luigi. Possibly two as Mario, but I only one as Luigi. That's fine. The thing is, is I like to make it more challenging for myself anyway. There we go. There we go. Less than 40 stars left. Come on. Let's go do Boo Moon, and then that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll finish off World 5 and start in World 6. Then, the episode after that, we'll be finishing World 6. Then it'll be World 7. Which, I don't know what I'm going to do with yet, because, yeah. There's one at the book, one on the moon, and there's also one in the poison swamp. I'm going to start off with the poison swamp and then just work through the level. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go, poison swamp. Yep. I can hear it anyway. Yep. The thing that I don't like about Luigi is he's hard to control. Because he skids around. Yep. There's the Comet Medal. We don't want Comet Medal. I think it's on that, that other one. Yep. So we're going as if we're getting the secret star and then you have to long jump off um, the platform into the star. I have one more attempt otherwise I might have to swap to Mario just to make it, it control a bit better. Because I do not like the way Luigi controls. If Mario pretty much stops instantly, Luigi doesn't. Luigi is more of a challenging character to use. But then the thing is, is... Unlike Galaxy 1 where you have to use both, in Galaxy 2 you don't. The game's not... Come on. Because the thing with Luigi is, if you use Luigi, if you use Luigi all the time, well, you'd get used to him. But the fact we're only using him for green stars is something that makes it more challenging. Yep. I'm going to have one more attempt, and if not, I'm going to have to swap back to Mario for this star. I'm going to continue on to later the other two stars, because they're all on the same. There we go, got it. Next one's the moon, and then it's the book. Then once we've done that, then that should be the end of the episode.
because we're already to the 30 minute mark but I don't like leaving galaxies half done so we'll go do the other two and then after that in the next episode we'll be starting with Upside Dizzy then Fluzzard then the castle the once we've done them then we'll continue on to World 6 and then World 7 and then once World 7 is done as well that's everything complete There we go. Green Star 2 is um, the moon, and Green Star 3 is the book. There we go, come on. There we go. Continue on. There's the star, so now we get around here. Get around here into the launch star, and fly to the next galaxy. There we go, come on. But the thing is, is the quicker we get this done, the quicker we get to do um, the perfect run, the quicker this series is over. I am enjoying playing it, it's just that literally the more, the more episodes we can get done, the more series we can have on the channel, the more series we have on the channel, the better. For example, I want to try and get three series running at once not all the time but where I'm able to do that with episodes and that because they're all pre-recorded all series are pre-recorded and they only start uploading once 50% of episodes are filmed so something like Mario vs Donkey Kong all those episodes were filmed way in advance All those episodes were filmed way in advance, whereas like other series like this were uploaded when I got to um, 10 episodes, then I keep putting more and more on until the whole series is up. Then as well, it allows for me to plan around that. Got one more now, and then we're done. Which is the end of the level. So we're just going to play through the level as we're doing it normally. Then the episode after is Upside Dizzy. And the rest are for the five. Because once we can finish the entire thing, that will be good. Come on. Go, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go, come on. There you go, that's just now collected. Let's continue on. Then once we've done this, at least then we're almost done. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Hopefully that after this is the book. There we go. And that's now the opposite side. Here we go onto the book. Then we want to activate it like we would for silver stars. Here 
We go, we want to stand on this. When it lifts up. I mean, this time I'm going to try and just long jump off the top of the book because I've not tried that yet. There we go. Okay, long jump off the book, not backflip. So thanks for watching this episode and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!